Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my technical series, and today we're going to be talking about using the M Classic on the PlayStation TV. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off by saying that uh, this is not my original video idea. Uh, I'll give credit to Metal Jesus Rocks for essentially coming up with this idea first, um, or at least it's the first place I saw it where you, uh, you know, use the M Classic to upgrade some of the resolution for the PlayStation TV. And thankfully, I have a PlayStation TV. Um, somehow they've become harder to find, but I love having mine. And uh, he started off by just hooking it in, his M Classic up to it and seeing what he could get out of it. And he was fairly impressed with the results, and so was I. Um, now, uh, he compared a few things for the PlayStation TV to itself, and uh, I wanted to take it in a different direction. Uh, so the direction I'm taking it into is basically just... Uh, you know, just how I've done with the uh, retro tank. A long time ago, I created a video that was called the most unfair, uh, most unfair comparison for the retro tank, and you know, it was unfair. I mean, it was definitely more tongue-in-cheek unfair than anything else. I wasn't bashing on her like that, and I'm not. That's not what I'm looking to do here either. Is I'm not looking here here to bash. The M Classic. I actually enjoy the device. I have it. I have it hooked up to my uh, setup permanently. Uh, I have multiple systems running into it. Now, the the thing is, is that while I've gone through and I've looked at some of the footage that I've captured, and the way that I've captured it is through uh, an older card. It's uh, the Avermedia uh, Live Gamer Pro, so that I could capture everything. The M Classic is not uh, a wonder machine. It does not automatically fix everything. It's actually pretty simple. It does uh, some color resampling, I believe, and then uh, a little bit of anti-aliasing, clean up some jagged edges, and then it just does a one-step-up conversion. So it takes 480, and it takes it to 720, and it takes it to 1080, and it takes 1080, and it takes it to 4K. Um, it it cannot take 480 to 4K. It just can't do it. It's not the way the device was designed, and um, if you're expecting that, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, your expectations are a little bit unrealistic. So that was the other part of this video, is I wanted to be able to level set people's expectations for this device. Um, it is not the end-all, be-all device. It is a very good and very simple device that provides, uh, in my mind, a significant upgrade to make me happy uh, with my purchase. Now, all of that said, uh, if you look at some of the video and uh, see which the name of the video, uh, I've created multiple videos. Uh, I recorded the PlayStation 3 at 720p. I recorded the PlayStation 3 at 1080p, I recorded the Vita at 720p, and I recorded the Vita at 1080p with the M Classic attached to it. And that's how the, uh, sorry Vita, um, the PlayStation TV to that. And that's, um, that's how I achieved 1080p. Now, um, to be a little bit more unfair, I decided to record PlayStation 4 at 1080p, and uh, it's all the same game because um, I have multiple, multiple copies of uh, Dragon's Crown. I have it on Vita, I have it on the PS3, and I have it on the PS4. Now, <clears throat> one thing to get clear is that the PlayStation systems Downsampling is a lot easier than upsampling. So, a 
a 720p signal up upscaled to 1080 is not going to look as clean as cr and crisp as a native 1080p signal. That's just the way life is. And again, I'm not bashing on any of this work that anybody's done, but wanted to be able to show side by side uh, how things look. Now, first up, we're just going to show here's the PlayStation 3. It's 720p. Right next to it is going to be Vita, or sorry, the PlayStation TV at 720p. We're just going to let them play for a little while and see how everything goes so that we can get a good feel and a good baseline of how these two things can be. The mage's towers, once greatly admired by magicians as a bastion of wisdom, it now embodies all the fears of the of being conquered by the rebel forces which conspire against it. Now, we're going to move on and we're going to show the PlayStation 3 at 1080p and the PSTV going up to 1080p with help from the M Classic. And again, you can see that some of the differences are still present. Um, I believe that it's uh, that it is a 1080p signal, but it's just upscaled for the Vita and it's having a hard time keeping up with a native signal. But that's something I expected. Now, to be completely unfair, we're going to throw in the PlayStation 4 at 1080. And um, I honestly think that they doctored this game up PlayStation. And so it's even more unfair. But it's also here to kind of keep your expectations in check. Uh, have unrealistic expectations for something like this, you're never going to be happy. Because, well, your expectations were unrealistic. Uh, now, let's go ahead and just have all three of the 1080p videos next to each other. Uh, on the far left, we're going to have the Vita or the STV at 1080p. Then we're going to have, in the middle, we're going to have the PS3 at 1080p. And finally, the PlayStation 4 at 1080. Now, I really hope that this video has been able to basically level set your expectation to uh, what is actually possible with this, this device, and that it actually you know, educates you on whether or not you think that this device is for you. I personally think that it is an excellent upgrade for the PST because I mean there are games out there that are essentially locked to this system and this is the only way to play it and any enhancement that I can get to that I consider that a win hopefully uh, you can make it you know, with the, all of this information you can make the determination yourself whether or not the M Classic is worth it to do in your setup. Um, 
but I just wanted to get this out there and help as many people as possible. But that's, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and um, I, I hope that I've helped somebody. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.